are we going to have first? We are going to... Uh, Your destination is on the left. It doesn't look like it's on the left, but we're going to a retro coffee shop if I can find it. I'm going to tell Google she's a little bit off. But here we are. I uh, found the coffee shop and there's uh, Dean's already here. But there's the, there's the other party arriving. <laughs> Like this one. Retro Prestige Motorcycles. We've come here to have a quick meeting. They've also got a shop. So, a different, but my cool is actually in Porton Island. So, Darren, being the bike enthusiast, picked the spot for our meeting for lessons.ca.za today. It was a good choice because the place has got a good vibe and it's got excellent coffee. We got into what is working and what isn't working. Better music, that last one on the, because there was no voiceover, mm. the music was too monotonous. By halfway through our meeting, Greg Burtish just so happened to pop into the same place for a bit of lunch. Talking about you, Greg. Hi. Talking about you. <laughs> this was a great opportunity to talk to Greg about Shark Spotters, one of his many projects, especially because it's in the spotlight at the moment with the shark incident with Sasha Speko this last week. As soon as that video is done, I'll activate the link on this video. The other thing that came up was that the Red Bull King of the Air competition was happening this afternoon. So as soon as this meeting was done, we hopped in our cars and went over to Big Bear to go check it out. Quite an interesting meeting. Everybody there except Bianca. Sorry, Bianca, I know someone's got to do the work. Heading off now to go and film and watch the Red Bull King of the Air. Be excited. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited. But first things first, lunchtime. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Denmark. Denmark. Welcome to South Africa. <laughs> uh, cool. Hi guys, uh, at the Red Bull Big Air event. Absolute epic scenes here at uh, Big Bay. This is the probably just the first and second round. Third round, fourth round, and the final is probably going to get shot on uh, shot out on on Sunday. So they'll probably just get through the first two, or maybe three heats today. But there's been some epic jumps already. A couple of guys already been eliminated out of the event. But uh, yeah, get yourself down here. It's going to be fantastic on Sunday. incredible turnout for a midweek during the day event. I can imagine as this builds up to the finals, the, the crowd is going to double. And I know one thing for sure, I'm definitely going to still have to go give this kitesurfing thing a try. Best place to start? With a lesson. <laughs> 